All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Thursday. That means that we are playing with our new deck in the line, which is Gaia. Like I said, we switched it up. We are joined by Tiago, as you can tell by the music, and there's no one else commentating with me right now. And this is actually a, a celebration of sorts. Uh, this is three years that Tiago has been joining me, has been tagging with me here on Daily Duels. And wow, it, it seems like it's been much shorter than that. But no, 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 Tiago's been there since, like, the beginning. So... Uh, you know, with that, Daily Duels is wrapping up soon and all that. So thank you, Tiago, for being here for all this time. Uh, thank you for all the support, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know Tiago, then you really don't know my channel. You know, Tiago is just one of those people who's been on my channel forever. Uh, he's a big part of my channel, too. He's a uh, moderator on my YouTube streams. He, he, he's, just, he's just there, you know. Tiago's, he's Tiago's man. So, uh, we're playing Gaia today, so we'll go ahead and activate our King of Swamp, grab it. Uh, the deck is really simple, like, when I switched things around, it was actually supposed to be Trimids as tag and Gaia as single, but I was like, no, 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 Trimids don't really work as a tag deck, you know? And, you know, Trimids, I mean, Trimids are freaking simple as, uh, I mean, Gaia is simple as all hell, you know? I just try to bust out my, uh, my Gaia fusion, my Gaia, uh, is... As much as possible, pretty much, you know. Uh, it sucks that I didn't really open up with any dragons, but I can, I can, I can make, you know, Guy the Dragon Champion. That's nothing to scoff at, you know, because no, 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 because I can do Gaia and then see reveal Curse Dragon, send Curse Dragon, and this can become Guy the First Knight. So then I can go into the new Gaia. So we'll go ahead and reveal that, and you become Curse Dragon, and then you can take the name of Gaia when I fuse, and then you can summon Gaia the Super Chuckly Fudge Covered Guy. Who will get me that spear, and the spear can, you know, attack. Alright, that's fine. You know, you're gonna even out. Oh, I guess you can't do that. I could have swore that you'd be able to copy off of, uh, the guy of the Fierce Knight on the other card. Because really, that's what your name needed to be, for namesake. You know? It says, guy of the Fierce Knight, plus a dragon type monster. Oh, I wasn't a dragon type monster. All I did was gain the name of Cursed Dragon. I didn't become a Cursed Dragon. Right, 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 right. Alright. So, just Guy of the Dragon Champion. That's fine. Yeah. That sucks. I, I gained the name of Gaia, but I didn't, you know. That's fine. That's fine. That's a neg on your part, anyway. So, you even dialed off the Meg C and then negged on the Quaking. Like, don't you think you should have waited a little while before hitting me the Quaking? Like, Quaking on one monster? I just don't think it's worth it. Especially since you don't kill a monster, you just set him face down. Like, if you kill a monster, maybe we could talk. And even then, you know, Mirror Force, it's like one for one when the card can offer you a lot more so you, you just kind of took a neg on that one took a neg to the knee i mean i'm not out of this duel i'm down but i'm not out you know uh i can do this play so i have a rank four play uh i have to the memory so i can revive the curse of dragon so depending i might be able to do a uh Oh, you know, I actually forgot to put someone in here in my extra deck. I actually did. I forgot to put uh, Dagusto Emerald. Like, rip. <laughs> like, Dagusto Emerald would be the exact card to put in here. Alright. So. And I run over my, my poor, my poor, poor guy, the Dragon Champion. He, he, was, he was a champion. Yep. And you have that Volt Tick, so that means that you flick battle damage to your opponent. You can take one of your banish special moments. Uh, banish monsters and special something great. Let me guess, you're gonna go ahead and go into like Grefflasia and main phase two? Wow, hello? Oh, okay. I mean, I'm guessing that Tank will probably quit because he opened up like ass and I didn't really do anything, so we'll just get another duel. Bear back. Alright, apparently Tiago didn't quit, so I guess our opponents quit. I don't know, maybe the guy was like, man, I don't want to tag with this shitty hero guy who's using like, you know, uh, Fusion gate and shit. Like, I, I mean, I guess. I mean, you got. They were winning, so I don't know why they quit. I thought Tiago quit because it looked like Tiago didn't open that well, and I got. I lost a couple of resources, but no, no. I have no idea. It seemed, you know, the one guy says the background has that backed up. The other guy has a 3200 beater. I mean, that's simple. That's caveman. You got right there. That's how you win. You you pretty much summon a strong monster and back it up with some backgrounds. It's really nice. Damn, Tiago, back at it again with a. Uh, I'm really doing much. <laughs> I guess maybe Tiago, since this cost Tiago's normal summon, that he didn't want to do anything else. Because I know he could probably like, pitch and then do that. Oh no, not Gofu. Nothing good comes from Gofu. Nothing. Nothing good comes from Gofu. <laughs> like, if you see Gofu, just, you know, prepare your, prepare your honest. Because I know you're about to probably play like Metal Foes or something like that, going to Ultimate. Wow, really? Really? 
Wow, wow, that is probably one of the most anticlimactic plays I have ever seen from this fucking deck. All right, wow. And now I don't even get poly. Like, uh, I'm gonna have to really tweak this deck. I thought on paper, I was like, oh, this deck is fine. It's, you know, it's good. And now I'm just like, eh, it's not that great because I'm not getting what I need. Like, last time I needed a dragon monster. Last time I needed a dragon monster, I didn't get that. This time I needed a poly, I didn't get that. Like, you're running technically six polys in this deck. Like, I just want to summon my super Gaia. Like, this guy, he's really good. The soaring dragon champion? Sure. Like, you can have that, don't mind that, might as well dex in. You know, maybe, do I have to put some fusion stages in here? Some more, you know? Summoner's Art's great, because I can search for either war, so that, that, I mean, that's fantastic. I'm just dexing at this point. That fusion cover would be pretty nice, if I had a poly. <laughs> wow, I just summoned him, he's like, Kapulse, like, okay. <laughs> like, I didn't, I guess I didn't run a really summon anyway. <laughs> You didn't want to give me one of your tokens, huh? My card free? Like, yeah, like, what does that mean? Like, he can use the cards for plays, I guess? I don't know. Like, if anything, you should have saved that compulse. You just went neg on that. I just summoned it and you just put it back to my hand. Like, you went neg on that play. You should have saved that card maybe for, like, when I fuse or in Tiago does his plays. Like, like, Compulse is a strong card. It's not as strong as it used to be since targeting is not the best, but, you know. Being able to just bounce anything, then it's just it's so great. Oh, ooh. Dark Magician? I have no idea, really. Yep, Dark Magician. Eh, I'm not the biggest fan of this Dark Magician. Alright, yeah, I already told you guys which one of my favorite Dark Magician ones. The one with the all white background, with his hand on his hip, all sassy like. I like that Dark Magician. <laughs> I play that definitely put that one in Dark Mission Evil. This one's cool though, you know, it's that uh dark one from the anime. <laughs> so you gonna do anything else? Right now, I mean I'm not too blown away by this duel right now. Both of them seem kinda yeah. You know. I think I think we could possibly win this, you know. I just need a I need to get in this duel, I need a poly, you know. This deck is all about the fuse. Yeah, yeah. That's what I guess from Tiago's play. Uh, since Tiago already used up his normal summon, he didn't want to do that play. Because I'm assuming all you need to do is pit, get a Galaxy Soldier, you know, Galaxy Knight can summon back the Photon Dragon. So the plays are there, and he got another uh, Galaxy Soldier too. So it might see like a Pleiades or Felgren, because it's like, oh, you didn't search the Galaxy Knight, but the Tiago already has it. I mean, Tiago's been here for three years, people. Three years playing this deck. Like, Galaxy, Photon Galaxy is definitely Tiago's shit. Okay. Why would, why would you do that? Like, there's really no point in you activating that card. You could have had the set card be a threat, to, you know, try to trick us into thinking that it was like a mirror force or something. But no, no, not Tiago. You're pretty much saying like, Tiago, go ahead, do your thing, you know? Do as much as you want. Wow, then Tiago can go ahead and take the, the Gofu. And if Tiago has Ultimaya, if Tiago has Ultimaya, which I, it depends. Like I said, Tiago's done so many things with this deck. Yep, yep. I would say that, that damn, they felt somebody so broken. That's so good. <laughs> oh, that play was pretty boss. Crystal Meth? Ah. <laughs> damn. See, Gofu. I mean, that's one of the things that Gofu's so great at being a level 5 tuner monster. It's special summonable like that. All you have to do is special summon a Gofu, go into Insta Fusion, play freaking Galaxy Soldier, play. You know, Seraphronite, and then bam, there's Ultimaya so broken. Like, if I got into the next great YouTuber for my first discussion, I'd probably talk about Ultimaya so broken and how sickening this card is. Like, Konami can't even create any level 7 or 8 Dragon type monsters, Synchro monsters, without this card being able to summon it. You know? It, it, it's kind of the point that it's getting unhealthy. It's like, yeah, anything that Ko Konami does is really limited and hindered by this card. Tiago's not done. I don't know. I guess Tiago plays uh, the uh, the Brilliant Fusion Engine in here. Okay. Not the greatest card to draw right there. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. You can just summon uh, uh, Galaxy Cypher Dragon back. Yep. Slap on a Cypher Blade. The Cypher Blade can detach and pop any card on the field. Like. 
I don't think Tiago runs Dark Matter in here. There's not too many dragons that Tiago wants to send. Ah, get that great alligator out of here. Not that you would have really done anything because Crystal Meth would have been like, hell no, 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 but. <laughs> nope, only by, destroyed by battle or by spell effect. Now, if it was uh, Eagle, then you would have went off. But Gradles, they came, they went, you know. It's just like Gradle Kaiju is not too much out of this deck. Yeah, and then Tiago couldn't attack directly except for Cypher. So. Metal Foes, Gradles? Oh, well, I mean, I guess. I guess. You know you're just gonna get negated, right? Alright, alright. <laughs> gonna be like, Cradle Alligator! And you fucking Crystal that's gonna be like, hell no. <laughs> Get your dirty hands off our monsters. <laughs> wow, he didn't scoop. I kind of thought he would scoop. Okay, well, drew some of memories. What the hell's going off in the graveyard? Probably you? Yeah. It's because you knew the graveyard. You can target one galaxy next to you and watch your control. Attach this card from your graveyard. I've seen it You can only use like a once per duel. Okay. And we can only use it once per duel. I thought it was like once per turn. Nope, once per duel. So, you know what, I'll just leave that alone. Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave that to you, so. Uh. I mean, this card's kind of useless. I can summon my, uh, Galaxy Eyes off of banishing this, or I could just summon... No. Yeah, I don't really have anything. I need a Polly like a son of a bitch. I can't do anything without Polly. I have lots of sevens because this deck can go into a lot of rank seven plays. Uh, we need a uh, blade. I don't think so. If we don't need blade, then I can do a play, which is summon uh, red eyes, darkest metal. And red eyes, darkest metal can summon back uh, galaxy eyes, cipher, cipher, or photon. Yeah, it's not doing anything. This is more damage anyway. I'll just do it. Cypher or Photon. My god, I need Polly. <laughs> it's like so ripped that I didn't get Polly in it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if on paper, I was like, yeah, this deck looks fine. I was kind of worried. I was like, man, you know, I'm running like, I don't know, I'm running like six polys. It's like, hopefully that'll be enough, Cypher. All right. Damn, look at all them dragons. You know what we're asking for? We're asking for a Regeki. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be out the duel, but I really don't have too many plays right now. I don't think this is this game. It might be game. Actually, this is game. Never mind, this is game. I was like, I was like, I didn't really do the math, but yeah, yeah, that's game. All right, I go get another duel. Be right back. All right, so yeah, I did a slight tweak to the deck. Slight, slight tweak. All right, well, I got it. Well, I got the play too. I got the play because this would be Polly. This could be pitched for Curse uh, or Curse of Dragon, yeah. Then I could fuse him to my my Thorin guy, who will get me a spear. I got no spear. Spear's not once per turn, so I can attack, draw two, discard one, draw two, discard one. Like I think I have to do damage through its effect, which is pure. So I think my opponent has to have a set monster. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it's just battle damage period or is it through that card's effect, which gives me pierce damage. I guess we'll find out. Mm. Maxi's good when you're going first as attack partner, but going second, like that's one of the reasons why I don't run Maxi in these decks. I wonder if Tiago, no, but say, if Tiago's a smart boy, so he'll just end, like, it's not even worth it. <laughs> I'll allow you even out, that's, that's the most I'm going to give you. The only reason why you're evening out is because you got me in a, in a chain summon, that's it. If it wasn't for that, I'd be like, nah, take the neg. You know, I don't like those people who just throw Maxi at you at the beginning of the turn. You know, unless they have like an unbreakable board. I'm just not a big fan of it. Oh, okay. 
Ja. Yep. You should go off to your Dark Magician. Now you got these two, and then they can't attack the Dark Magician because you can boost him up by uh, 2,000. Rep on that. I mean, I do run uh, a Regeki and two Dark Holes in here. I generally run Regeki and Dark Hole in tag decks. Just guys, you know, it's when you're facing down two opponents, it's easy to just play your Regeki or Dark Hole, blow out one of the opponents, and then it's just you two versus one. Like, much easier, much easier. And for all I know, he might have a. Uh, I have like internal soul or something. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, not marks. Well this should be Dude. fun. And by fun I mean not at all fun. Wow, wow really? That's all you can do? Is just grab your idea and then not do anything with the monarch plays? Like did you brick? Did monarchs brick? I always never got why people played one for one over Rota when it came to getting idea. Like one for one's a neg, but I guess it's like, well, you don't conduct your normal summon, you just special summon the idea. It's like, yeah, I don't like negging. <laughs> it's like I neg enough in this game that we call Yu Gi Oh! Alright, so like I said, I can bust it out. So, if God of Dragon Trip inflicts battle damage with this effect, which I believe is pierce damage. I mean, I guess we'll find out if anything. So we'll go ahead and play this. I grab me Curse of Dragon, then I got Polly right here. Actually, I didn't need to grab Curse of Dragon actually, because I can just I can just seize those Redim. I'll hold on to Redim for right now. Like, there's no point in me keeping this play, so I'm not going to do it right. So I'll get two spiral spears. So I have one in my hand and I'll get one when I summon my soaring. Oh, I forgot about navigate. Wow, that sucks. I completely forgot about navigate. God damn it. Ew. Ugh, fuck. Ugh. I completely forgot about that card. Rip. Wow. The one time I actually get my plays and my polys and then you just fucking negate it. Like. I was like, oh yeah, I got my plays. It's like, never mind, no, I fucking don't. Fucking navigate. Uh. Wow. I put in a fusion sage. I number generated it. I, I knew it. I knew it was going to probably be an eternal soul. Um, so you're going to get your thousand nine, I mean, your dark magic attack. Blow away my one set card. Wow. This dark magician guy opened up pretty well. Yep. I'm gonna blow away my one set card. Not that I was gonna do much with this strong strike, because you're probably not gonna activate too many monster effects. Like, wow, this Dark Magician, the modern guy hasn't done shit. He, this Dark Magician guy is just fucking me up. But, I mean, Dark Magician is definitely the better of the two decks between Dark Magician and Gaia. I'm like a side card, like, no one gives a shit about Gaia. Fucking level 7, 2300, fucking trash, man. Like, I'm gonna do a level 7, like, I at least want 25, like. I'm not even the attack very My stats are shitty for a level 7. I'm going to Star Venom because why not, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure I like that play. That was, that was kind of... Like, why, why go into Star Venom right now? I guess since it's this card to be this diffusion of monster be destroyed, you could destroy all our special monsters. Like, is that it? And you just threw this in because why not? <laughs> well, I know Tiago has one play. You can get just Swift Twin Twister. <laughs> Push down Azulu, which you're probably not going to get any use out of, and I know Azulu doesn't get its effect, so. Not that there's any normal monster in the graveyard. Now, if I were fusion, I'm going to throw a bit of some normal monster in the graveyard. Yep, so. Pop, pop, pop. Well, clear that out. Ah. And Dark Magician, so once again, so weak to Twin Twister. You had everything and lost it all. 
I know you have a dark magician in hand. <laughs> Wow, another one? Wow, wow, another one? <laughs> Lower consistency, my ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Both Naxis. That is just on even that. Tiago can't even get in this duel. Like, Tiago has some major plays right now. Major plays. I apologize for that. Major plays. But Tiago can't do anything because every single time he's under Max C. Fucking Mark guy hasn't even gone. Like. <sighs> oh my god, here we go. Fucking throwing Gofu and everything. Gofu's so stupid. Like, I don't even know what I. And it, it doesn't help that's a Blackwing card. Like, I already hate fucking Blackwings. So he's throwing the fact that it's a Blackwing card, and it's just like, yeah, great, you know? Wow, just summon Gofu and end. Alright. Oh, you know what? That's actually wonderful. That's exactly what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. Fucking King of Swamp. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? You go to attack mode. Like, there's no reason for you to be sitting in defense mode. Let's go. You two. So next soaring. You summon, I can go ahead and grab this. This card declares an attack, you can change the attack position of opponent's monster. Oh, so I'm supposed to change the defense mode and do the pierce damage. Spear, spear? Drop me some cards. <laughs> no, there's, I mean, there's no point. Oh, I could have changed something else to attack mode. Or is it the monster I'm attacking? This card attacks. Attacking. You can change. Oh, I can change that monster's battle position. Uh, I don't need summon monk. Then draw two. Uh, I don't need King of the Swamp. Swing of Malmurries might be okay. <coughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah. King of the Swamp is another poly. I don't have anything else. I need another Gaia if I wouldn't do another play. Yeah. I'll hold him to some memories. Yeah, it was, it was the tar target that I'm attacking. I thought it was any monster. If it was any monster, then I'd be like, okay, change to another different monster to attack position for my plays. So I couldn't go into a... Uh, to play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hold on to my plays. I'm going to hold on to my plays. I, I could swing for Chaos Dragon and then Bans the Chaos Dragon, let him, let him summon back the Galaxy Act, but I'm going to hold off on my plays. Because if we catch a Swift or Gekki, then rip, you know? Alright, Bans the Spell card. I can spell a trap. That was stuck mission. Yep. Oh, it's got that circle. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not touching him right now. I'll hold off. But the, the Monarch guy, like... The Monarch guy has, like, literally done nothing. Mm -hmm. The problem with Dark Illusion is that it's slow. So... But I wouldn't be surprised if he has, like, another Eternal Soul or something. <laughs> Sucks that I didn't draw any of my twin twisters when I play. So Tiago can use this. <laughs> and then use these. <laughs> That's pretty powerful. Let Tiago draw two, discard one, draw two, discard it. That's not exactly like what Tiago would love to do. Wow, wow, we caught that swift TT. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, this man is literally fucking Tiago in the ass. Like, wow. Nah, you don't get to play. Nah, you don't get to play. They're like, wow. <laughs> <sighs> nah, it, it, it's one on one. Nah, nah, it's it's one on one. All right, well, one guys now in the duel. Great. Well, now, well, 
now. Yep. Oh, there goes everything. Everything out of Tiago's extra deck. Gone. Wow. Make us a Borg, and then... Don't you like send the... The out rip. <laughs> Just got to send from your opponent's extra deck. I'm not a big fan of Mega a Borg, especially since you trivia itself. It's kind of like, eh. What do you search for with, uh... What's it called? Ether, of course. You gotta get that Ether Monarch Stormforth combo on. Yep. So, Treat Toads will put themselves back. The Omegas could put themselves back. Need some pop cards on the field. Like, it's about to get stupid. <laughs> yep. There goes my fucking Spiral Spears. Mm-hmm. Then Mega can put the oomphs back. Then Mega can put the oomphs back. Yeah. <laughs> like, that play is pretty decent when you can do pop three, but you still lost your monarch. Like, that's disgusting. We don't even have that shit in it. <coughs> TCG. God, look at all that scent from Tiago's extra deck. Like, alright. I really want to play anyway, it's fine. Wow. This deals a bigger pain in the ass than it really should be. <laughs> Alright, what can I summon? I can summon Galaxy, I can summon it back. Is only this card special in Yeah, this card is special in period. Oh, I can get right back from the graveyard, too. Cool. But I'd rather Dex in. Go ahead and play that. Go ahead and pierce. Nope. I'm gonna hold on to the Twin Twisters. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the Twin Twisters. Wait for that Dark Magician guy to do some Dark Magician plays. That's sort of one of the last things we need to see right now. And I'll set this and give it this to Tiago just in case. Oh my god, this door! <laughs> The memory coming through, like super, like supervising bell. Yep. Yep. So what I'm trying to think what he has in his hand. I know he has illusion. He didn't play that. It's one of the two, one of the three dark missions. I think only has one dark mission left. Yeah, I only has one. That's one of the reasons why I don't like playing a war in dark missions because I don't want to banish my dark missions. I want as many dark missions to see him as often as possible in that deck. That monarch guy, like, I don't even know why he summoned Ether. Like, what's the point of, I mean, his idea. Like, what was the point of that? Like, you banished your idols to summon idea and then did nothing. Or you could play that. Or you could play your pot of ability. Like, yep. Rod is fine. Get Eternal Soul. Might as well wait. wait. Wait for him to play it. No, that's fine. I don't even know what that card does for you right now. Okay. Set up your pendulum skills. Then what? Pendulum summon that magician girl, I guess? The fusion girl? 
Her. She can't even pendulum summon. Never mind. I don't even know why you did that. Why would you set up a pendulum scale? Okay, so there's illusion. It's set. Add up to two tar copies of Dark Condition. Bring deck or graveyard to your hand. Alright, because of the play, they're one in the graveyard. There's one banish, now they're both in his hand. That's fine. All the di all different dark conditions. Like, alright. Ah, my favorite one. All oh, right, he could pendulum summon the dark magician. That's annoying. I wanted to, I wanted to save my shit for Eternal Soul. Like, Yeah, he's gonna fuck me up. Like, either way. I think it'd be best to just let him do his thing. I'm trying to think, because he'll XC those two into his Abon Illusion Magician. I think either way I'm banished. That sucks. It's Abon Illusion. God, this Dark Mission guy just keeps getting everything in this duel. Yeah, it's so lucky. Wow, I thought you were gonna like exceed these two. Can you not special summon a I don't know. No, he's trying to summon. That these two are gonna go into Evan. He's gonna. Well, he has no more Dark Magician in the deck, so there'd be no point in doing that. Uh, I have no cards, so I'm gonna let Tiago handle it, because I know he's gonna fuck with that Eternal Soul eventually, so. Holy oh, shit. Like, he has been going, he has been pushing in this fucking duel. Like, the pot of divinity with the perfect draw to do his pendulum scale plays, like, I didn't even take that out at all. I'm like, but you can't even pendulum summon and he did that fucking switch root grab back. I'm like, alright. You see, no, he doesn't have that magician, apprentice magician in his hand, because he has nothing in his hand. So it might be best to use your effect, yeah, and change his battle position and get that pierce in and then draw. Because <laughs> I believe you have to get, you have to do it through the pierce damage. Eternal Soul. Now he can catch that swift Twin Twister. <laughs> Wondering if is going to target. Obviously, Eternal Soul in the circle, okay. I was wondering if he's going to crack like the Pendulum Scales so the Monarch guy can't play. A really old card. Well, it's not a really old card. It's more recent than I would think, but it's like if you just if a guy inflicts that power damage, period. But it's like, no, only through this effect. Like, that sucks. But I guess it's a pretty powerful effect. I mean, drawing two, discarding one, like, shit. <laughs> Alright, Monarch guy, what you got? You gonna fucking tear apart Tiago's extra deck again? I wouldn't be surprised. I know you have Ether, but you have the summons. You have, your pen, you have your pendulum scale, so you could pen, possibly pendulum summon something in tribute. Kind of wondering what you're gonna do. This duel's been going on for a long time. <laughs> Fucking kicking tag on the dick, this duel. Oh shit, I think we might actually win this duel. Pierce? Nah. Nah. Get a Pierce. Flam! I don't need the... Summoner Monk. That's it. It doesn't matter. Just something to pitch with to a certain soul and strike. That's all I need. And the fucking... The fucking Dark Magician guy is drawing into one? Like... No. No. He already had a card. What's the card in his hand? Do we know what it is? Wow. 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 
Uh, yeah, it's his fucking rod. Like, all right. Like, can he summon Dark Magician this turn? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think he has a way to summon Dark Magician this turn. If he does, then I can see it coming from my light. Wow, this guy is lucky. I've never been this lucky with Dark Magician. Oh, one time, one time. One time I just went fucking ham on uh, Zisha Gas 3 because I got hella lucky. But generally, it's like, yeah. Ah, oh, I should have strike that. I should have strike that. And I know you going to grab another Eternal Soul. But then once again, you grab another Eternal Soul, you try to do your Eternal Soul plays, you get fucked up by another Twin Twister, nigga. Like, yeah, I got another one. So, I mean, why wouldn't I? I'm drawing two cards and discarding one every turn, so. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it because I don't need this card in my hand. While Tago might still need his cards. So, I'll do the Twin Twister. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. <clears throat> that way you can turn this to defense mode and attack it and pierce it. Nope. Yeah, here. Tago needs this card. I'm gonna give Tag all his cards. The last time, the reason why I didn't do it during the end phase, the Eternal Soul Pop, is because I wanted him to uh, wait, clear the board. Yeah. But now, now it's it's. I think that was a smart play. I didn't need my last card anyway. It's another card to dragon. Now Tag can go ahead and get that pierce damage, get that draw, that so good grab. But I'm probably using the probably bad as fuck. <laughs> we got the sound strike, but it's not gonna be too useful against a monarch that he summons like that. I'm guessing Tiago drew into that. that draw two pitch one and drew into the the cloud dragon. Because Tag would probably would have done that main phase one because I would have been game. Yeah, so if he, because since he has return, he can make our monarchs miss, you know? We can make him miss, he can make us miss monarchs if he does the chain right. Yep. Zero. How can I? <laughs> if you do something, please do it now. <laughs> like. Oh, Grant's nice can block that Monarch Storm Forth. Well, you can make your monster on effect by Monster Horde, but yeah, he can... Just, yeah, the only thing that you can make is the only thing that he left you. <coughs> I negate that. <coughs> Which neither Felgen nor Strike, I negate that. It's practically one versus three. Like... <laughs> Like, how, how, it has been, how is it three people versus you, Dark Racing Guy? I mean, you have been getting pretty lucky. <laughs> pretty go. <laughs> March. Strike that. All on the floor. Strike that. Give me some more. That's probably game. Whatever you were playing just now. So that's both your normal. That's your normal summon. Your precious, precious normal summon. So I can attack, pierce, and then go for game. That's it. GG. We win. I thought we, I thought we were on the verge of losing, but the monarch guy didn't really do too much, and we potted out that dark mission guy who was just getting everything, everything, everything. <laughs> Spear. I don't need prisma. I really don't need anything. <laughs> ah, we won it, GG. Alright, people, so, there we go, I'm gonna call the video. So, thank you, Tiago, for three years of diligence. So, David Duels is ending soon, so, there's not gonna be too much tacking on David Duels, but that new series, I will be replacing it when we live stream and play, you know, Daniel Duels, play whatever. Of course, there'll be plenty of tagging with that. So, it might be, uh, you know, upload a tag with me and tag as a highlight video, you know. So, I mean, look forward to it. We got plenty of channel changes. We got, you know, we got a whole bunch of things. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Double Daily Duels. So, finally, we're almost done. Uh, the deck profile for Ancient Gears, and we will be playing with Trimates. So, Trimates and Gaia Switch. Gaia's tag deck, you can clearly say it's a fine tag deck, even when my uh, tag partner gets to use it. Try mids, I mean, they, they need their single time, so I did an executive decision to switch it, but you still get both the decks, right? Because, I mean, really, what am I going to do with Gaia but differently from single and tag? Maybe it's almost like Call of the Haunted or something, I guess, but, you know, outside of that, uh, Try mids, they, they need their single, they need their single, because tag on Try mids would just be terrible. So, look forward to that. 
So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. We got less than 25 episodes daily to those left people. All right. See you guys tomorrow.